Good day students, welcome to this subject, Social Studies, Grade 7A and 7B. Your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. This video will serve as a recap makeup class, especially for the students who aren't able to join us virtually. Let's proceed to our online learning discussion now. Class, before we proceed to our discussion, I would like us to have a short review or recap of the last topics discussed, which is about Asia's climate. So there are major climate regions of Asia and there are the following. Tropical climates, subtropical climates, temperate climates, polar climates, and highland climates. So these colors represent the climate of each places that are present in this map. Class for the objective of our lesson for today. So, students must be able to know about Asia's natural vegetation. So, at the end of our lesson class, I already expect that most of you already know about the different natural vegetation that can grow in the continent of Asia. So, class, our topic for today is about Asia's natural vegetation, and these are the words to learn. Please repeat after me so you can practice your listening skills and your reading skills even if you're just at home. Are you ready now? Let's start reading. Number one, forest. Number two, natural. Number three, vegetation. Number four, various. And number five, climate. Now let's discuss these words one by one. Forest. It is an area of land that is made up of trees. Next word is natural. So synonyms for natural, we have organic, innate, native, unaffected, inherent. The third word is vegetation, which means flora, growth, greenery, herbage, plants, botany, verdure, vegetable, flower, plant. Next, Various. When you say various, it means diverse or different, several, varied, assorted. We also have climate. Climate means atmosphere, weather, environment, and mood. So these are the five words that can help us better understand our topic for today. Natural vegetation and wildlife. Trees and plants need soil, water, and suitable climatic conditions to grow. Therefore, the vegetation belts follow a similar pattern as that of the climatic belts. The different vegetation regions into which Asia has been divided are tundra vegetation, taiga vegetation, steppe grasslands, Mediterranean vegetation, desert vegetation, temperate forests, monsoon forests, equatorial forests. Tundra vegetation. This vegetation exists in the northernmost areas of the continent. Short grasses, mosses and lichens grow during the brief summer season. The land is covered with snow for most of the year. Trees do not grow and the plants remain short. Reindeer, polar bear, arctic fox, seal and walrus are the common animals found in this region. Taiga vegetation. This type of vegetation is formed in a broad belt in the central part of Siberia, located towards the south of the tundra. The coniferous trees are the main vegetation of this belt. The softwood evergreen trees that mainly grow in the taiga belt are fir, pine, spruce, cedar and larch. Several fur-bearing animals found in this region are fox, bear, sable, mink, lynx, squirrel, etc. Steppe grasslands. This vegetation is found in the temperate climate region towards the south of the taiga belt. The land is covered with short grasses and stunted bushes. Antelope, mules, horses and wolves are among the common animals found in this region. Mediterranean vegetation. This vegetation is found in areas bordering the Mediterranean Sea. It consists of trees that can survive the dry summer season. 
these plants and trees have long roots that penetrate deep into the ground thick leaves and barks that control the rate of evaporation the main variety of trees that grow well in this region are oak chestnut walnut olive acacia and laurel most of the natural vegetation has been replaced by the fruit trees that grow well in this land desert vegetation this type of vegetation is found both in the mid latitude deserts as well as the hot desert areas of southwest and central asia the vegetation consists of scanty growth of short shrubs and thorny bushes in hot desert areas camels donkeys gazelle scorpions lizards and rodents are a common sight yaks can be seen in the mid latitude cold desert areas temperate forests the temperate forests or china type of vegetation consists of mixed forests both evergreen and deciduous trees like oak mongolia camellia camphor mulberry and bamboos grow well in these forest lands the wildlife that inhabits these forests include monkeys pandas parrots peacocks herons cranes etc monsoon forests monsoon forests are found in the monsoon land varies from the amount of rainfall and the elevation above the mean sea level mostly the trees are deciduous and shed their leaves during the dry winter season the areas where the rainfall is heavy dense growth of trees like teak sal rosewood and sandalwood can be seen acacia thorn bushes and short grasses grow in the areas where rainfall is scanty in the delta regions and the coastal lands mangrove forests are found people neem and mango are some common trees of this vegetation group elephants monkeys rhinoceros snakes deer and a variety of animals are found equatorial forests tall evergreen trees found in dense forests are the characteristic feature of the equatorial forests these forests have a dense overgrowth of shrubs and creepers mahogany ebony rosewood kinkona rubber and coconut are common in this region monkey sloth lizard frogs snakes elephants a variety of birds butterflies and insects are found in these forests so class let us discuss about asia's natural vegetation so various types of vegetation can be seen throughout asia because it has got all three main types of climates which are tropical temperate and polar so these are the major climate regions of asia number one tropical climates rainforest grassland semi-arid desert number two subtropical climates humid subtropical and desert Number three, temperate climate, the temperate, subarctic, grassland, desert. Number four, polar climate, and we have polar tundra. And number five, highland climate. Highland varies with altitude. So, class, let us discuss about Asia's natural vegetation. Coniferous forest, pine trees, needle-like leaves, cones, evergreen not dense so you can see here how a coniferous forest looks like next mixed forest trees in warmer areas mixed with the cool temperate ones so this is how mixed forest looks like deciduous forest found in a temperate climate trees shedding their leaves during the dry season so this is how a deciduous forest looks like Next class, let us read about tropical and subtropical hardwood trees, deciduous, thick bark to prevent heat damage, waxy leaves, dense. Next, this is how a tropical rainforest looks like, found near the equator. 
evergreen, waxy leaves, tall trees, and most dense. That's why in Thailand, we have tropical rainforests because we are near the equator. Next, tropical grassland, mostly grasses, moist in rainy season, but dry in winter, also called savanna. So, this one class, giraffes are example of animals that can live in the savanna. Next class, we have temperate grassland, and this is how a temperate grassland looks like. So, grassland found in a temperate climate, cold winter with rain or snow. This is a semi-desert and scrub, dry hot weather, short trees, bushes, and shrubs, sparse. When you say sparse, it means dry or arid. Hot desert, all sand, little or no rain, hot during the day but very cold at night. Next class, we have temperate desert and this is how it looks like. Found in the temperate climate, very cold and drier than a hot desert. Sparse. High altitude vegetation. So thin air, mosses always covered with snow. The higher, the colder. Sparse. And next, tundra. Very cold, mosses always covered with snow. Sparse. Next class, we have marsh, swamp, mangroves, and this is how it looks like. Wetland, grasses or trees, tropical climate, evergreen. So we have like this here in Thailand because we are near the equator. Ice cap, always covered with ice, found over the top of high mountains, no plants. So class, for the summary of the topics today, Asia's natural vegetation. So Natural vegetation of Asia. So this is the map of Asia and these colors here represent the type of vegetation that are present in the area. So we have here deciduous forest, coniferous forest, alpine or mountain, rainforest, desert, tundra, grassland, and the savanna. Class for your activity, please answer pages 37 and 38 of your social studies book. So note, please take a picture of your social studies book pages 37 and 38 after answering the activity. Upload it in social studies album in your line group. Good luck and thank you so much. Plus, we now come to the end of our online discussion. If you have any question, comment, suggestion, or anything that you want to say, Please feel free to call Miss MJ on my personal line account or send me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you have learned something today about Asia's natural vegetation. Until next time, take care, stay safe, goodbye everyone.